Hello there everybody and thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. As you all know Hollywood has released its latest over the top horror flick The Pope's Exorcist and personally I do find it generic and again this type of movies focuses on the power of the devil rather than the power of God. Although Russell Crowe played his role brilliantly in the movie, but exorcists being afraid of the demons and letting himself be possessed by demons? The late Father Amroth once said in 2015, I have never been afraid. I have been just a simple instrument in the hands of God, who is capable of liberating people from the devil. So what do actual exorcists think of the movie though? Well, here it is. The International Association of Exorcists, headquartered in Rome and co-founded by Father Amorth said, a viewing of the film's trailer confirms, as if that were needed, not only its nature as a splatter film, a genuine subgenre of horror films, but also its unreliability on such a sensitive and relevant subject. Everything is exaggerated, the association said in a communique March 7th, after the trailer was released. I am the chief exorcist of the Vatican. My position was appointed by the Pope. It was actually a real job in the Vatican. Such a depiction distorts and falsifies what is really lived and experienced by Catholic exorcists and is insulting in regard to the state of suffering experienced by those who are victims of extraordinary action by the devil, it said. The end result is to instill the belief that exorcism is an abnormal, monstrous, and fearful phenomenon whose only protagonist is the devil, whose violent reactions are faced with great difficulty. This is the exact opposite of what occurs with exorcisms celebrated in the Catholic Church. The association's president, Father Francesco Bamonti, a member of the Servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, has said that an exorcism is a fundamental aspect of the church's pastoral ministry as it continues Jesus' earthly ministry of driving out demons and shattering Satan's tyranny over humanity. Many films have shown an exorcist as a priest who is nervous, tense, and afraid when in reality he is serene, Calm and sure of Christ's power to free human beings from evil, Father Bomanti further added. Another misleading aspect of these films is the presentation of the struggle between good and evil in a way that suggests it is a fight between the God of evil fighting against the God of good. Sacred scripture has revealed that demons are angels created good by God but fallen and become evil forever by their own free choice. Demons are infinitely inferior beings to God, and however active they are in the world with the aim of doing great harm, they cannot prevent God's plan and his work of salvation fulfilled in Christ. Also misleading, Father Bomanti, is the destructive fury of the demon, which does not always occur in exorcisms or, at any rate, not with the virulence depicted in the movies. Father Bomanti said the priest exorcist is often depicted in films as if he were an independent or lonely freelancer, a doctor who makes house calls, dropping in without establishing a human relationship, much less a spiritual one. Instead, the Catholic Church requires the priest to have permission and support from his bishop to perform the rite of exorcism. He is required to assess the situation carefully, to talk with family members and others, and to make sure it is really a case of demonic possession, which is very rare, he said. The exorcist must also help prepare and guide the person who is suffering to acquire the inner dispositions necessary to achieve deliverance. Father Bomanti said that unlike in the movies, we affirm the certainty that good prevails over evil, truth over lies, love over hate, humility over pride, and this is precisely the truth made concretely visible during exorcisms. If Catholics do not strengthen their own faith formation or are ill-prepared in discerning fact from fiction and lies, he said, what might initially have been a good service to the church in representing the ministry of exorcism on film becomes Satan's usual subtle attack on the Catholic church.